All hooked up, guys. Jeez. Not good, man. I've been um, pretty much faint, almost fainting for the last week. I haven't really told anyone. I told my parents earlier today and was just like, it's really bad. Got to the point where I couldn't even lay down without feeling like I was going to pass out, which I had during COVID a couple months ago during the movie process. Told Ashley to call 911. And ambulance came. See a little clip there. Finally got into a room. I was almost passed out multiple times. I gave some blood uh, to the chest x-ray. My heart's just been, they don't know. We haven't really heard anything. Um, pretty scary. So I just wanted to share that. For right now, I'm doing okay. Part of me thought they like, think it's like heart related or blood related or maybe even my digestive adhesion thing, my surgery from a while ago, like my, it's like getting pinched or something or a blockage, I don't know. It's like 3 a.m. right now, haven't slept, which doesn't help. And I mean, this was the case in the Christmas. We shot the Christmas video. Mm -hmm. As soon as I cut it, I had to go lay down because I was gonna pass. I thought I was gonna pass out. I'm done. All right. I don't feel good. Okay. Love you guys to death. Don't say that. <laughs> we'll be okay. We'll get some answers. It's okay. You'll be all right. This one's different, guys. Like I've been through a lot of different things. This one feels scarier because, like. I don't know, it just feels like heavier. You felt like you were gonna die. Yeah, and you feel like you're blacking out all the time. Like, I don't know. Like, I was saying like this heart rate monitor all of a sudden started like beeping. And <laughs> like it was like flatlining and I was just getting like brought back to when I was a kid, eight years old, my tar on my feet, like thing would flatline in the middle of the night like 15, 20 times at like every hour. And it was, uh, pretty traumatizing so mm -hmm. just being here sucks i'm tired of i don't want any more make sure it's medical mysteries but at least with that one i could stay awake this one i mm. i can't barely stay awake so wish me luck guys Can I get your backside in this? I, it's underwear, boy, dude. I don't care. Oh, at least you got um, your underwear on. <laughs> it's day, what is it? Second day? Second day. Know. Went 30 hours, no sleep. Uh, they took seven vials of blood. I got like two different ultrasounds. We saw my heart. We saw my liver, kidney, gallbladder, all of it. Organs are all good, just good heart does have an extra beat uh and that i believe is from covid i've had the heart palpitation since 2022 last year they last a few months and then it went away i just got covid during the movie lasted a while i'm reckless for trying to do this right now <laughs> it's so like the first time i haven't helped you go to the bathroom i'll put a picture oh my goodness <laughs> I'll put a picture here. This is how many electrodes that I had on my body. Fortunately, I'm down to only a few, but I have this brick and monitors on myself. They were saying that like last night, my heart would go down really low and then spike. And then the, on, on top of the extra beat, it was pretty rough. But that's about all the energy I have. So. Yeah. I got a CT scan too. They have no idea what's wrong with me. Like I said, they know I have an extra beat now. That's the hard stuff I'm feeling. As far as why I'm blacking out, no idea, no idea, so. But I'm like 99% sure it's all goes back to COVID because that's the only other time in my life I've blacked out. Yeah. It was two months ago. Guys, who's home? Make up for the two whole days. Back, don't have much energy. 
Mm -hmm. I still haven't eaten or slept really. Um, there was nothing more the hospital could have done. So mm -hmm. it took a lot to get laying back here. And we literally just got in and I'm a sociopath. Mm -hmm. And I was like, just turn the camera on because I wanted to let you guys know what's up. Support was overwhelming. Thank you guys. It's pretty dark for a fair bit. So I'll be taking it easy and let you guys know what's up. Thank you guys so much for, fortunately, you know, I guess this has a happier ending. It's an Isaac ending, not a Psycho Kid ending for me. Real Jesse. Because, uh, yeah, I wasn't sure we were going to get out of there. It was just okay. definitely looking bleak for a bit. Yeah, because I still haven't slept in like three days. It was hell, mm -hmm. and then everyone there just didn't want to hear long COVID. They didn't want to hear the C word. They were mm -hmm. like, not having it. And I got, uh, got this irregular heartbeat now. Just slow down. Smell the roses. Yeah, we take know. care of yourself. We know. But we know, so but sometimes things like these happen for anything to really change. So. But shout out to all the creators, all the fans, friends, family that reached out. Uh, it means a lot, even though I probably didn't respond to me or anyone. Cause yeah, you haven't been on your phone. No, I can't even, I don't even have the bandwidth. Anyway, mm -hmm. you can go see, say hi to my fam on okay. there because they showed up too. too. Yeah. So your parents are here. Mom sitting. <laughs> they just got here like a few hours ago, so it's been rough. Been rough on everybody, especially yeah. you two. Yeah, it's been a long few days, but hopefully, uh, yeah. You're gonna need sleep too. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't slept that much, but. <laughs> look, look how worn Jenny is. She's worn out. Oh too. my gosh. They're sure. exhausted too. We're waiting for us this whole time. So does PetSmart have any more toys or is this it? No. Is <laughs> Look at them all. I gotta see what's going on in there. It's been like five days. See if uh, any work's being done for them. Yeah. Yo. Yo, what, what are you doing? Hey. Want to see yeah. how it's going? No, you get sit down, sit down. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. You need I'm to get in bed, edit. dude. What are you doing? It's my first time in here. Yeah, it's been a, uh, it's been a week or so. Up, what are, what are you doing? What's up, dude? <laughs> hey, um, you can sit down. Uh, want to let? This okay. Yeah, I want to let you guys know it's been four or five days since the hospital. Mm -hmm. Feeling better. Paul's been kind enough to be working on the movie during this time. Uh, as about you, you gotta. Yeah, I'm concerned right now. Well, I don't. You should. There's no point in being in here right now. I feel restless. The whole, the whole point. I, know, I, I know. get that, but the whole point is that you're supposed to be no stress at all. I'm supposed. To, this this is right. me supposed well, to be stressed. All right, reassure me. Then. You get out of here. I mean, I'm fine. Reassure me then. And I'm stressed not knowing what's going on as we have yeah. like two weeks to the day. We do. To submit the Tribeca, so. Um, after we got that rough cut done, the whole point of all of this was just to be just hacking and slashing the fun part. Yeah. And uh, you've been, you know, unfortunately MIA so I can't, because of it. Yeah, I can't put my input in on what to cut, what not, you know, what to keep. But I'm not, I'm probably not going to be good. I shouldn't be in here. No, you should. I don't feel it was hard enough to see him walk over here. So official diagnosis was uh, I, I don't know I don't remember what I said. I, honestly, it's been a blur. Uh, premature atrial contra contractions of my heart. So it's just like it was for the days I was in there that it's just beating on its own rhythm. It's like, um, oh buddy. Uh, so it's it's just got a mind of its own and it's mm -hmm. going against my normal pattern that I've had my whole life. So, and then we've noticed blood pressure spikes and drops and I feel it's like I'm still about to black out. Fortunately, I'm eating solid food, which is good. Mostly laying, in, I've been laying in bed for the last five days. But what I believe it is, is also what's known as POTS, which is postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Fancy word for, or term for, uh, your blood is not 
getting to where it needs to get to properly. This can be caused by many things, one in which being uh, infectious disease. Listed, they had mononucleosis, which I had, which lays dormant in your system forever. And then the other one, COVID. Everyone, a lot of people having COVID, even mild infection, and then over the months develop this, this POT syndrome where they just feel lightheaded and things are not operating like they used to. Digestion, you know? brain fog, you name it. So um, it's very concerning. Yeah, so when you eat something, you're essentially, you're, you're saying that you're, the blood is essentially not flowing correctly because it's going to your digestive system and so it's taking it out of your head and that's yeah. why you're fainting in a way. Yeah, like it's limited. Like, yeah, it's so much concentration that I'm not getting enough to the brain and then I have to lay down or and do like very slow breathing. Rest assured though, movie's still, we're still submitting it in two weeks mm -hmm. and uh, it is looking good even from when I last saw it. It's about all we can do really. That's why it got to this point where I was just like, let go, Yeah. you know? And You know, it's, it's tough for me to, you know, I didn't want to come in and be like, Jesse, this film is incredible, it's amazing to like, to get you even more sad because you can't really- you Or know, too excited. Enjoy. Or too excited. I can't get excited, I have to, I can't, I have to really mellow out. Mm -hmm. Uh, shout out to Dom as well. Dom, even though his contract ended, he's, he's going to be editing some videos to take mm -hmm. some off your plate over these next he, few he months. He did the year, uh, the the New Year's uh, yep. video, which was a great montage. And if you guys haven't watched that, check out the second channel. I've been uploading on there. We'll continue throughout the year. I talked about what's coming in 2024. This was before all of this happened, so things change. However, each day I feel progressively a little better, so drop some likes on the video for that. And uh, yeah, if you wanna go to uh, New Zealand, that's fine by me. <laughs> I, I uh, messaged him uh, the picture of Ho Hobbiton or whatever. Uh, yeah, I looked it all up. They, yeah, you could totally go to Hobbiton. Oh, jeez. Man. Um, that's where you wanna go. Woo. That's Paul's Christmas Woo. gift, wherever he wants to go. And he, he was like, yeah, what about New Zealand? Yeah, yeah. Now he's like, uh, well, you put me on the spot here because <laughs> I didn't really think about it um, too much because, you know, priority is the movie. This has been it, and then your priority is your health. I know. Too, so. I know. That, that There's used a lot of to stuff be, going on. <laughs> that used to be my priority, which sucks. It sucks, you know. This, uh. It does. I've come so far. I've come so freaking far. Pushed so hard for this thing. To all the blackouts and all the to get in the final two weeks and uh, I can't be in here to help cut. It's, yeah, but here's the thing, man. You're what you're doing is you know you you put this deadline for the Tribeca and all of these other you know festivals and stuff, but that you know that's just one. Th it's just a date. You know, it's not what the movie's going to end up. Right, We're not right. limited to that. Right, because you, you know, know it's not a make or break kind of thing. It was yeah. just an arbitrary. Goalpost, but this is where the movie's really getting crafted, and it sucks, it you know. Yeah. And it, it just sucks that it's like at towards the finish line. This was the fun part. You'll get yeah. your director's cut. I think that's that's what the fans will want. I promise that. Yeah, yeah. In the end, it will be the director's cut. In the end, you know. But right now, you know, we're figuring it out. So uh, it's coming, still, guys. Yeah. Fortunately, Paul's been clutch, crucial throughout the whole process. Thankfully, it's still being done while I'm laid up. So the rest is in the hands of fate, really. And it goes to show that, uh, yeah, uh, you, you can only push so far until it all catches up with you. That's one thing I've been, you know, I keep having to relearn. I, I, I gotta get better, guys. Uh, subscribe for more. We just hit 4.2 million subscribers on the main channel here, which is absolutely insane. Uh, we do really want to get back to content. Obviously, I gotta recover first. Uh, like Poop John. Poop John also is doing well. We're supposed to find out actually about the cancer. Yeah, you guys were, like I said, now. you guys were on the same wavelength of, you guys both. He's my know. spirit animal. Yeah, dude. yeah. My, John's my spirit animal. So uh, if you get bored waiting for content from me, Larry's Lounge and Psycho Dad channel, uh, even Jeffrey uploaded a video, Ashley's got streams. There's all kinds of stuff going on in our little network. I'll keep you guys posted on social media how my health's doing, but I think you could tell by the end of this video I'm feeling better than where I was at. So hopefully, as long as I don't jump the shark too much, it'll progressively improve. Just keep resting. Don't let me in here, dude. 
I, Don't I, let me I, saw, in I saw I almost pushed you out of here. No, I shouldn't be in here. I shouldn't have even walked in here. Yeah, just keep that. I'll, I'll wheel you My back heart in rate house. jumped so much just coming back into the room. Whoa, whoa. I hate oh, this. Yeah. I hate this room. I used to love this. Probably room. stinks in here. It's just me eating. It smells like yeah, and baloney stuff. and slim, <laughs> slim Jim. <laughs> all right, guys. Love you all to death. And don't forget to keep it rigid. And who knows? Before you know it, movie trailer time. Good night. Good night. Shout out to Ashley for taking care of me this whole time. Thanks. Bye. You're welcome. Good girlies. Sweet. <laughs>